What's up guys? Happy Sunday. Goodness me. Looking back at some of those old TikToks from a year ago, it's an absolute joke, but it was all fun and games. Anyways, once we're done with today's workout, it'll mark the end of our fifth week in our 45-day fitness challenge that you and I have been chasing after. And I just posted an update on my transformation so far. Hopefully by keeping a close eye on the weekly basis, it helps ensure that we reach our physique goals that we set for ourselves, whatever that might be for you. And for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Mason from Self Made Athletes. I like to share some of my thoughts, my experiences with you guys uh, on all things fitness and health related. And I hope you're enjoying the 45 day series so far. It's specifically designed for at-home workouts with as little or as minimal amount of equipment as possible. If you've liked it so far, make sure you hit the like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you get the most up-to-date daily workouts that we have. Today, we have Renegade. That's gonna be our workout coming up next. Today's workout is a mix of both pushing and pulling movements in the first two of three exercises where the third exercise will be specifically targeting your abs and core. There are six pods in total and the working time today is 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest, one set of each exercise but two laps around each pod before you get a quick water break and then move into the next pod. I'll be using my pairs of five liters and 1.5 liter water bottles. I've also got three options in terms of resistance bands, light, medium, and heavy. And just so you guys kind of have an idea, I know I've mentioned this a few times. So I've been using the um, F45 resistant band. So red here is light, blue is medium, and black is heavy. Uh, I've mentioned a few times that you can actually get these resistant bands for relatively cheap at Decathlon. And I found the exact same ones, just different colors. Um, for you guys to pick up. So uh, yellow is the red one, which is the light. We've got orange, which is medium, and then red as heavy. So you can kind of tell by the sizing. Uh, it's relatively the same. Um, so that's what you guys can use at home. Um, just it's easier for me to use these ones since they're already here at the studio, but I've been using these ones as well, uh, just so you guys know. All right. I've also got a, a glute activation band and my North Kings BFR bands today so that I can chase the pump a little bit. And as I've mentioned before, you don't need any of these, but it will help you during our exercises. You can also use anything similar that you have at home, but make sure that it's enough weight for you. Um, and if you're interested in taking a look at these specific items, I'll put the links down in the description box below. All right, now that all of that's out of the way, let's get started with our warm up, shall we? Let's go. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna get ready with our warm up. We're starting off with high knees and butt kicks. Switching it up a little bit today. A few high knees, a few butt kicks. Here's what it looks like on the side. Drive your knees up nice and high. Point your knees down, drive your heels towards your bum. Nice, big hip mobility swings. Switch directions. Keep the same energy. Work on being better when I'm 70. Uh, going into a deep squat and then twisting on both sides as you stand up. Good, nice wide lunge stance. Leaning from one side to the other. Give the groin a nice little stretch by straightening out the leg. All right, going into 10 mountain climbers and three push-ups. Lying down on your back now, swing one leg over. 
Hands in the T, try to get your shoulders onto the floor. Hip thrusters. Going into back rolls and reach out. Coming back up onto our feet. We're doing fast feet. Some close, some wide. And jump squat, try to touch the floor. That way you go deeper into the squat. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, in 15 seconds, we're getting started with our very first exercise. Go ahead and grab your heavy uh, water bottles. We're doing alternating reverse lunges. Three, Two, one, here we go. Excellent work, everyone. If you've been with me on this journey, I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but for our lunges, guys, Make sure that our back knee doesn't hit the floor, front knee doesn't cross the toe, okay? And rest. Excellent. Quick rest here. Well, a little longer than normal. So try to push yourself, add some more weights if you can. If you got some heavier bags at home or just heavier books, stuff it into a bag and then load it up, all right? Next up, we've got a bear hug squat. So you're gonna grab your water bottle, hug it in front, and squat. Good. Obviously my water bottle is not that heavy, so if you guys want, you can load up both of them. Or like I just mentioned, go ahead and throw a bunch of books, a bunch of heavy stuff into a big backpack. And then just hug it like this in front of you and squat down. Good, try not to lean into your squats. I know the weight's in front of you. You wanna drop your bum down, push your knees out, keep your chest up, and rest. Well done. Great work, guys. All right, next up, we're gonna work on that abdominal. As promised, the third exercise in each pod is gonna be attacking the core. We're gonna do windshield wipers. So I'm actually gonna face your way so you can kind of see what it looks like. Lying down on your back, hands in a T. Here we go. Touch the feet onto the floor. One side, swing it over to the other. And just kind of like the windshield wipers on your car. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, so we know the three moves. We're gonna repeat that one more time. Going into reverse lunges first. Go ahead and grab your water bottles. Three, two, one, here we go. Reverse lunge. Now, the second part of, or the second tip that I can give you about lunging is that we wanna keep our toe, our front toe, straight, okay? Because generally speaking, that front knee is gonna follow where your toe goes. So if I'm pointing my toes inwards like this, look at that, my knee's gonna bend inwards. If I point my toe outwards, my knee will follow 
the toe, okay? So try to keep it nice and straight. That'll be good posture for us and good form. All right, rest. All right, next up, go ahead and grab that heavy bag or whatever weight you have here. Right in front of you, we're doing bear hug squats. I'm gonna stand off to the side so you guys can see that even though we got the weight in front of me, it's not pulling me forward, okay? You, got, you need to do the same. Don't let that weight pull you forward. All right, here we go. Sit straight down with it. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done, guys. All right. We did one upper body, one lower body. We're attacking the core now. I'm gonna face this way so I can see the timer. We're getting ready in 10 seconds. Windshield wiping away with our feet. Try to get it to as close to the floor as possible. Three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent. Water break, guys. 30 seconds for a quick hydration break. We're moving into the next pod. That was quick, right? All right. In about 15 odd seconds, we're gonna do a water bottle clean and press. We're gonna start off in the bottom. Let the water bottles hang. We're gonna clean by driving the elbows up, rack it up onto our shoulders, and then press it upwards. Ready? Grab those weights. Three, two, one, let's go. Press, good. Now I know the weights here aren't very heavy, which is good. It'll give us time to practice our form and I'm gonna do it very slowly here. So I'm hanging out, water bottles are just weighing me down, chest up, back straight, and I'm pulling up with the elbows, and then I'm gonna turn them down immediately so that they can rest on top of my shoulders, and from there, I press up, okay? Rest. If you need a little bit more time, drop your weight, go for the lighter water bottles, keep practicing that form. That's a clean and then a press. All right, next up, Go ahead and grab your lighter water bottles. We're doing a lateral raise. There's gonna be a slight bend in the elbow, okay? It doesn't have to be completely straight, just a slight bend, and we're just raising off to the side. Ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Now, you can stop at shoulder height. Generally, we tend to go slightly above, that's okay, but do not go all the way up here. There's no reason why you need to go all the way up here for the lateral shoulder raises. Okay, I'm just gonna keep constant tension right around that shoulder height area. That's okay. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done. All right, moving right along. We're gonna go into a four point hold, um, alternating or opposite limb raise, okay? So, getting ready, four point hold, on the knee, three, two, one, here we go. Alternate hand and opposite foot comes up and down. Try to brace your core as you do this. Don't let your hips swing open.
and rest. All right, guys, those are the three exercises for this pod. We can go ahead and grab our water bottles. I'm actually gonna use a resistance band for this one just so you guys can see what it's like if, for those of you who are using resistance bands at home. The problem is there won't be a lot of resistance at the bottom as you clean, but as you come up and jerk, just be careful as you turn the resistance bands upwards, okay? Here we go, so, and press, woo! All right, I'm gonna give it a little bit more. Good, pull with the elbow, turn, and press. It's a little bit tougher with the resistance band, I'm gonna have to admit. Just because after you get it up here, turning it down, it's quite hard. So I would advise maybe go a little bit slower like I am. And rest, well done. All right guys, if you got water bottles or a bag or something, use that instead. You can get the motion a lot easier than the resistant bands. All right guys, next up we're doing those lateral raises. Go ahead and grab your water bottles. Remember, no need to fly up too high into those lateral raises. Keep it at shoulder height. Three, two, one, here we go. Five seconds left, hanging in there. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done, all right. Going back into that four point hold, four point hold. We're getting ready, 10 seconds. The breaks are slightly longer today. I know it's not something that we're used to, right? All right, here we go, and go. Twenty seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent, another 30 second water break here guys. Go ahead and grab some water. We're gonna get ready for our third pod, all right? All right, in less than 10 seconds, we're gonna do a Y Superman pulse. Your hands are gonna be in a Y position, lying down on our tummies. Here we go. Feet off the ground, hands off the ground, pulsing. We're gonna flex the lower back here. Five seconds. And rest. Ooh. If any of you guys are wearing a heart rate monitor like I am, that was a little bit uncomfortable for me, I'm not gonna lie. All right. Next up, we're doing a rowing, a bent over neutral grip row. So, chest up, back straight, draw with the elbows. Palms are gonna face each other the entire time. Okay. Here we go. Grab water bottles. Making sure that we keep that back as straight as possible. One way to do that, chest up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. 
less than 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent. Great work, guys. Two back movements there. Next up, we're doing flutter kicks, but crossover. So I like to call them scissor kicks. It's kind of your feet or your legs kind of act like a scissor crossing, but it's gonna alternate one over the other, okay? Lying down on your backs. Again, ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Five seconds, three, two, one, rest. Excellent. All right, coming back up onto our feet, or actually no, we're sitting down. We're doing the Y Superman pulses. Thumbs to the sky, we're pulsing. I'm gonna shift my heart rate monitor up just a little bit so we can just get out of the way. It was super uncomfortable because I was lying on it earlier. All right, here we go, three, two, one, here we go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, excellent. We're going into those neutral grip rows. I'm gonna go for resistant bands just to switch it up for some of you guys. I'm gonna go for the heavy one. You can use whichever resistance you so desire. And I'm gonna stand off to the side, just so you know, we gotta keep that back straight chest up. All right, here we go. Lots of slack in between the two to two bands here. If that's not enough, you guys can make a big loop. Just make sure your palms are facing each other. Woo! Three. Two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right. Going back into the scissor kicks. Yeah, about another 10 seconds. Just catch your breath. We'll be right back into it. In three, in two, in one. Here we go. Running through the money, but the money's long. I don't love it, but I need to keep it coming on. Only friendly me and friends, we don't get along. I put that on my name that I put them on. I put myself on stage as they sing along. I might book a session, do a honey song. I'ma let you hear them just to prove you wrong. On track, now we gon' way up. Don't be used as easy as a layup. Fucking late, stay up, stay up. Count out the way up. Count blessings, say you know we pray up. Pray up, pray up. Three. Two, one, rest. Awesome work, guys. We get another 30 seconds of water break here. We're getting ready for the fourth pod. We're doing something called a static lunge. What that means is we stay on one side and we just lunge on that one side. On the second lap, we'll switch over to the other side. Okay, ready? Here we go. Lunging, center of gravity, straight down. Let's practice everything we talked about earlier. Front knee doesn't cross your toes, back knee doesn't hit the floor, toes pointing forward, knee pointing forward. All right. This might be too easy for some of you. If it is, go ahead and grab some weight. Just hold it down. That's okay. 
no issues. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done. All right, moving right along. Next exercise, we're gonna do a bicep curl with a slight twist. So you're gonna start off with your palms facing your, your uh, legs, and as you come up, you're gonna turn your palms to face your shoulders. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use these water bottles. Ready, here we go. A nice big squeeze at the top. You want the full flex there. Now, if these water bottles get a little bit too light, go ahead and drop that. Grab your resistant band, standing on. Here we go. Motion is exactly the same. Palms facing the legs. As they come up, turn towards the shoulder. The palms face the shoulder at the end. And rest. Another option, I was using the 1.5 liter water bottles. Go ahead and grab the heavier ones, the five liter ones, if you've got those. All right, next up, we're doing a low plank rotation. Okay, so you're gonna have to hold yourself in a low plank position, and you're gonna T-spine rotate upwards. As you do that, try not to let your hips turn all the way open. Try to keep them as square to the floor as possible. All right, so in the low plank, rotate, Notice my hips, they're not turned out like this. Keep them squared towards the floor, rotating the back. One, rest. Excellent work, let's go ahead and repeat that cycle. We are going into the opposite leg for static lunges now. Opposite leg. All right, we gotta make sure we balance both sides of the body. We're starting in about five seconds. Catch your breath. Three, two, one, here we go. Twenty odd seconds. Couple more. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done. All right. Go ahead and grab your choice of resistance. I'm going to go back into using resistant bands. The light ones were enough for me. Those of you who are feeling strong today, go for medium, go for heavy, but make sure you don't compromise your form, okay? I got a little bit of slack here. Three, two, one, let's go. Great work, guys. Hanging in there, 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent. All right. Going into the low plank rotations. Try to fight those hips. Don't let them swing too much on you. All right, we're going in 10 seconds. Getting ready into the low plank. Here we go.
Three, two, one, rest, water break. Woo, another 30 seconds here. Anyone else working up a sweat or is it just me? Woo, excellent work everyone. All right, getting ready for our next pod. First motion that we're doing is a Romanian deadlift. So go ahead and grab your water bottle or your resistant band whatever you choose that's okay here we go good form chest up back straight push the bum backwards only a slight bend in the knees keep the bum up nice and high don't sit into the squat okay a lot of people go coming down like this no no that's not what we're doing here Romanian deadlifts are also known as stiff leg I'm gonna keep that leg as stiff as possible all right so only a slight crack in the knees push the bum back you're gonna feel a huge stretch in your hamstring posterior part of your legs that's exactly what we want and as you come down don't let those shoulders round in on you keep that chest up nice and proud all right rest good stuff all right next up I'm gonna go grab your glute activation bands we got these ones here from decathlon the heavy ones we're doing activation band hip thrusters slide them right above the knee Lying down, and hip thrusters, okay. Now, what you don't want is for your knees to collapse like this and do regular hip thrusters, okay. You can do that, but the activation band is supposed to put a little bit more tension. So push your knees outwards, and then do your regular hip thrust. Squeeze your glutes at the top of the range of motion, back down, okay. Excellent work, guys. Got about 10 seconds left. Big squeeze of the glutes. Push those knees out. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right, next up. We're doing a combo movement. This is gonna work the obliques a little bit. We're doing five oblique crunches and then five side plank pulses. So for the oblique crunches we're gonna bend the knee and crunch inwards let's start off with the pulses first go into a low plank pulse dip the hip down two three four five rest on the hip okay coming down we're gonna crunch one two three four five you can think of it as bringing your elbow towards the side of your knees okay back into the plank one Two, three, four, five. One, two, and rest. Well done. Make sure whichever side you were just on, we're gonna switch sides afterwards, all right? All right, guys, well, that's it. Let's repeat that pod one more time. Starting off with Romanian deadlifts. I'm gonna go back into using the heavy resistant bands. For those of you who are using these at home, no dramas. Big ass loop right here for lots of resistance. Here we go. Less than 10 seconds to go. Hang in there. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent, all right. Moving right along. Next exercise, we're doing activation bend hip thrusters. All right, setting up. I'm gonna lie down off to the side so you guys know the range of motions like for some of you who haven't joined us before there's a trick to this all right for your hip thrusters all the tips I was telling you about earlier push your knees out big squeeze of the glutes okay but you need to know when to stop okay when you come up your body should look like a rocket launching pad that's it nice and straight and then down if you go past that 
like this, you're over arcing because you're gonna feel a pinch in the lower back. We don't want that, okay? So just come up nice and straight. Now, if you don't feel it, it's probably because your hips are sinking. Make sure you push your body into a straight line. And rest, excellent. All right, guys, switching sides for that side plank, dip, and then oblique crunch. So I was on that side earlier. We're going to this side now. Side plank first in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Dipping. Coming onto the hips. Three, two, one, and rest. Ooh, who felt it on those ab or those oblique crunches? Wow. All right, guys, quick rest here. We are into our final pod. Last three exercises, two more laps, and we're done. All right, guys, hang in there with me. The first thing that we're gonna do is a tricep dip. Okay, normally we'll have a bench, or you can use a chair, you can use sofa, but like I said, we wanna keep everything minimal, so we're gonna go on the ground. All right, we've done these before. Go ahead and glute bridge up. All right, from here, guys, do not sink your hips. You're just gonna bend your elbows. As you bend your elbows, the hips will follow and push back up, okay? Do not sit down into it, okay? The hips are stationary. The elbows are doing all the work. If I don't bend my elbows, my, my body doesn't move, okay? I gotta bend my elbows. The closer in you get, the more range of motion, or slightly more anyways. Three, two, one, and rest. So these are just kind of little mini tricep dips. If you've got a chair, if you've got a ledge, if you've got a box, a solid box, go ahead and put your hands on that and then do the same thing, okay? Bend the elbows backwards and then sink your bum down, okay? Next up, we are doing a push-up into a T-spine rotation. All right, so something similar to that low plank we were doing earlier, but you're adding a push-up now. Okay, so push-up, have your feet nice and wide, T-spine rotate up, and back down. Push-up, T-spine rotate to the other way. Now, if you can't do it on your feet, no issues. I will show you how to do that. You're gonna drop to your knees. You're gonna do your push-up. You're gonna come back into high plank onto your feet and then do your rotation, okay? That's the, progress, uh, the regression for this move. Push up on your knees, high plank, T-spine rotate. Rest. That's it, folks. And those were the three, oh no, wait, sorry. I lied, there's one more. Abs, always abs. All right, guys, grab a weight. We're gonna do a straight arm uh, sit up. So, coming down. Have your arms nice and straight, and sit straight into it. Straight arms, sit straight up. Try not to lift your feet off the ground, like how I just demonstrated. Keep them grounded. All right, there we go, much better. Now, some of you may struggle on this because our core isn't very strong, and that's okay, but we're gonna work towards this. I don't want you to swing your water bottle forwards to carry you through. That's not using your core at all. That's just using momentum, okay? Rest. What we wanna do is have our arms straight and reach up into the sky and push up. That's using our core, all right? No arm swinging on those movements or else you're not, not bracing the core, not using it to its fullest. All right, guys, we are back into the tricep dips. We're getting ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hip thrust up. All right, bend the elbows back. The higher your hips are, the more room 
for you to go down. And rest. Awesome work. Push up, T spine rotate. I'm gonna shoot off to the side this time because that way you can see what it's like on the knees. I know probably the last angle was no good. Um, but yeah, for those of you who are going onto your knees, make sure that you're not T spine rotating on your knees as well. Okay, I wanna work the core a little bit on those rotations. All right, here we go. I'll do a couple on my feet first. Rotating, keep those hips as squared as possible. Try not to, you know, fling it out like this. We don't want that, all right? We want a controlled movement, brace the core. All right, for those of you doing it on your knees, push up, high plank, rotate. Push up, high plank, rotate. All right, three, two, one, and rest. All right guys, final one, here we go. Grab the water bottle, straight arms, practice not swinging forward, okay? No momentum, nice and slow and steady. You don't have to go for the heaviest water bottle. You can just go for a lighter water bottle. You can use nothing, just your arms, okay? That works as well. Are you getting ready? Let's go. Oh no, I failed. Sorry guys. Here we go. Oh, that was embarrassing. All right, we're in the groove of things now. Keep bracing that core. One or two more here. And rest. That's our workout, guys. We have finished our renegades. Well done, guys. Um, today's resistance workout um, just had a nice little mixture of both, like I said, pushing, pulling movements. We worked and isolated certain muscles, so arms or back or chest. Uh, shoulders things like that so well done for sticking with me for five weeks in a row guys I'm super proud of you for those of you who have been doing this um, and for those of you if this is your first episode feel free to go back to one of the earlier ones and redo some of them try to um, do it at your own pace um, you only need to spend about 40 minutes or so um, in these workouts and it's in the comfort of your own home so if you're in quarantine your gyms are in lockdown they're completely shut you're just stuck at home or you just prefer working out at home more this is a series for you by the way guys I just want to give you a quick update on how the North Kings BFR bands are going um, obviously uh, the last maybe two resistant workouts that we've had together um, we've had a couple bicep pumping exercises so um, I'm just gonna take them off real quick uh, nothing's changed from the last update you know um, today I actually pulled it a little bit tighter and I found that it's it feels re more restricting so I would say that the most effective amount of BFR uh, training involved in exercises the tightness shouldn't be shouldn't increase more than 80%. You don't want the band so tight that it's like suffocating your arms or like there's there's no feeling or you're, it's like starting to feel tingly. Um, I didn't feel that today, but it was definitely a lot tighter than um, I normally have it at, and I didn't it didn't feel as comfortable. So um, my recommendation would be anywhere from 70 to 80% of tightness, um, and then. Just work out with that and that i found that the most effective and so today we had a few you know bicep curls um good little chase you know uh, i'm not shrinking which is uh good news i think um but i won't know until the very very end um where there's two more weeks left and so these are great um for just having a little 
pump, a little chase in the biceps, especially since we're not using heavy weights. Um, these have been phenomenal for me. This is your boy Mace. Peace.